a few signs that the narcissist hasn't moved on. It's not easy when a genuine relationship breaks down, when two people who love and care about each other recognise that they do not want the same things out of life and have to go their separate ways. However, because they genuinely cared about each other, there may be those pangs of regret as one person moves on. However, they're usually, because they care about them, they're usually still pleased for that other person. When it comes to a narcissistic relationship, narcissistic people are very envious of you. Therefore, they don't want to see you moving on and they themselves can struggle to move on just like anybody can. A narcissistic person can move on with a whole new family and you can have a whole new family, yet they'll still believe within their mind that you want them back. So a few signs that the narcissist hasn't moved on, even though they have a new supply and you have moved on to your new life. And one of the first of these is their incessant hoovering. Narcissistic people have a knack of reappearing when you least expect it. With their hoovering, they're looking to suck you back into their games, to treat you like dirt, to discard you all over again. They come along with those false promises of change with the regrets with how they didn't mean it with the future fakes and this is driven by their need of attention and their need of control. They can come across strong jealous of your new life because they envy your new life so they're going to try and win you back. They can talk badly of your new partner. They can claim even though you've got a new partner you still want them because that's where they're coming from. They have a whole new supply, but the new supply isn't giving them the attention they want, so they're envious of what you have, and they're the ones who want you back. They go all out to smear your name, to tarnish your reputation, to turn others against you with their lies and their half-truths, to make you look like the villain so that they can play the victim, so that they can gain that sympathetic attention and validation that they weren't the problem. Everything was all your fault. They can come along with those future fakes, with those grand promises of things that you will do in the future that they promised previously and failed to deliver on and found a way to blame you because they're looking for a way to manipulate and control you. They themselves can try to create that competition, that triangulation with the new supply to provoke feelings of jealousy within you. This is usually done when a narcissist discards you, but they haven't moved on. You're struggling with the trauma bond and the grieving process, and they will flaunt a new supply in front of you because they want to make you feel inadequate. They want to make you feel inferior. They want to make you feel jealous. So it feeds their ego and feeds their reality because they can play the victim of how you're bitter, you're jealous, you're crazy to other people. So it feeds the narcissist reality, even though they're creating that competition, they're creating that triangulation. And another sign a narcissist hasn't moved on, which is an unusual sign, is when they fall silent on you. They attempt to regain control when they realise that all attempts to get you back are futile. They begin to ignore your existence, to punish you. The narcissist inability to handle rejection. This is very different to no contact. With no contact, you've recognised that this person is toxic and bad for you and hurtful and you have to go through the grieving process of letting them go and live their life while you go and live your life. With the narcissist silent treatment, they are praying that you are the one who goes back to them. And sometimes, when you don't, they reappear like nothing ever happened with their hoovering techniques to try and win you back. Because when it comes to narcissistic people, they don't like losing supply. They feel entitled to have you, to own you. So they never truly move on because they can't process, they can't take responsibility for the part they played so they can't process 
in order to be able to move on.